Hello friends, today we will going to study the topic code generation algorithm. So, code generation algorithm which takes the sequence of the three address statement as an input. For each three address statement of the form A is equal to B, operator C, perform the various action. These actions are First, the code generation algorithm can invoke the function of gate register to find out the location and where the result of computation of B operator C should be stored. After that, the, it will consult the address description of the value to determine Y dash. If the value of Y is currently present into a memory and register both, then prefer the register Y dash. If the value of y is not present into the memory location add, then we can generate the instruction that is nothing but the new y dash is equal comma l to press the copy of the y into the l memory location. After that, third stage of code generation algorithm is nothing but generate the instruction that is nothing but the operator z dash comma l, where the z dash is nothing but which is used to show the current location of Z. If Z is in the board, then prefer a register to the memory location. After that, we can update the address descriptor of the X, which is indicate the X into the, that particular memory location L. If the X is present into the L, which is updated is descriptor, and remove the X from the other descriptor. Then that time, if the current value of y and z have no next uses or not a value on the exit from the block or the register, then that time we can alter the register description to indicate that after execution of y is equal to x is equal to y operand z, both register will no longer contain the y or z. Code generation algorithm basically contains the four steps. First phase contains the invocation of the function by using the gate register. After that, into the second, we can consult the address descriptor for that particular values or the register values and memory location. Into the third, we can generate the instruction with the different types of the operator. And into the fourth stage, we can find out the current value of that particular register or the current value of that particular variable used under the operation. And then we can finally solve the particular algorithm. So in this way, the code generation algorithm is fixed. So generating code for the assignment statement. How to generate the code for the assignment statement? So assignment statements are as shown to the slide. Please take a reference. B is equal to A minus B plus A minus B plus A minus C. Can be translated into the following sequence of the address code. First of all, temporary variable is used to code A minus B. After that, the register u which indicate a minus c then b is equal for c plus u and b is equal for b plus u. So code generation for the assignment statement is shown into the following example which contains the statement code generated for that statement, register descriptor or the register empty for that statement and address descriptor. Statement shows the statement which is represented into this example. After that, code generator is shows how the code will be generated for that. First, uh, move A to the register R0 and then the operation performed on that register is nothing but the subtraction B, R0. In this way, the code is generated for each and every instruction. After that, the register descriptor shows the register description for that. So, R0 is contained the temporary variable that is C. Similarly, the registers are descriptor. After that, address descriptor is useful for denoting the address occupied for that register. So, T is present into the register R0. This is the description. So, similarly, the another instruction for the statement is generated the other descriptor. So, just wait for the particular slide for generating the code for the assignment statement. So, in this way, we study the code generation algorithm. Thank you.